I hear about so many life hacks that supposedly solve all your problems that do not work. Often they require too much effort and they don't understand motivation or how human psychology actually works. Well, I have a life hack that will help you achieve your goals and allow your chores to seemingly melt away. Most people suffer through their chores. Believe me, I have in the past. They let their dreams go by because they procrastinate and they let their fears take control of their lives. They distract themselves through Netflix binges and TikTok, Twitter, or Instagram. They miss out on steps toward their goals and their dreams because their avoidance gets in the way. Well, there's one technique that you can implement into almost any task that will help those tasks turn from something totally burdensome, something you do anything you possibly can to avoid, into something that you actually look forward to. And it's a strategy that could change your life. It's called temptation bundling, and it's something that's supported by scientific research. Temptation bundling involves pairing things we need to do with things we enjoy. It's kind of related to the stereotype of, you know, when you tell a kid to eat their vegetables before they can get dessert, but this is on the next level. It basically pairs the vegetables with the dessert. It's basically the idea that you only get to do some really enjoyable things while you're also doing something that you need or want to get done. One study had a group of participants only be able to listen to a really addictive audiobook when they went to the gym, and they found that the group with the audiobook went to the gym 51% more than the group that didn't. Because they could only listen to what happened next and enjoy the audiobook when they went, they were just that much more likely to go. And even though the study doesn't claim this necessarily, I think that there's something to it. Not only that it helps get you motivated to do the things you don't want to do, but I believe that it possibly makes those tasks more enjoyable. Because once you start to associate that task with something that you really look forward to, some of that enjoyment rubs off on the thing and you don't mind it so much. Here's an example from my life. I used to hate mornings, like really, really hate them. And I also really disliked cleaning. It was something I would avoid at all costs. But then I started listening to this really fun, kind of gossipy podcast called Normal Gossip. I wouldn't let myself listen to it at any other time of the day. I could listen to other podcasts, but only this kind of fun, uplifting podcast at this particular time. And what I started noticing is that I started looking forward to the mornings. I even started noticing that I looked forward to going to bed because that meant the next thing I would do would be listen to this podcast episode. And on top of that, the actual act of cleaning started to become almost pleasant. I couldn't believe it. It was almost soothing. And it was all because I associated it with this really enjoyable thing. Now, there are a lot of other examples of how you can implement this idea, like only watching your favorite TV show while you exercise, only eating your favorite snack while you get some paperwork done. I'll talk more about that in a second, but let me take a quick break to talk about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of classes on all kinds of topics. You might know Skillshare for classes in photography, film, and video editing and illustration, but did you know Skillshare has hundreds of career-focused classes too? And honestly, the new year is a great time to reinvent yourself and either find a way to pursue a dream or adjust your job or to pursue something that's meaningful to you outside of work. I also think Skillshare weirdly relates to temptation bundling because it's both something I kind of enjoy, but at the same time, I'm actually learning something and growing as a person. I just started taking the course Personal Productivity, five exercises to make your big goal a reality. Anyway, if you're interested in trying Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to hit the link in the description box below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Anyway, thanks to Skillshare for partnering with me and on to the rest of the video. So like I was saying, in order to integrate temptation bundling into your life, I think what's helpful is if you take the time to sit down and write down a column of activities that you really, really enjoy that also work well for multitasking or integrating into other activities, and then a second column of activities that maybe you avoid a bit or that you just want to get done. And then look at those two lists and see which are compatible. A key part of this is to really try to only do that enjoyable thing 
while you're doing that more unpleasant activity. So that involves making sure that it's specific enough that you can really withhold yourself from it at other times. So I do think it requires some planning and some intentionality. The study I mentioned did find, for example, that when the participants left for Thanksgiving break and maybe sort of like forgot about the book that they were listening to, the effects of them going to the gym kind of wore off. So I think it's important to be really strict about how you're implementing those fun activities into those difficult tasks. I think the good news in all of this though is that if you're willing to really give it a try and put in the effort to try temptation bundling, it might really affect your life and your ability to achieve your goals and your dreams. I personally find that life can kind of go on autopilot. It's easy just to get into the swing of the motions of week to week and not be making steps towards my bigger picture goals and my dreams. Sometimes there are so many immediate tasks that need to get done that I don't do those tasks that are towards my own personal goals. And I think that sometimes we just need a little less friction and a little boost of motivation to get us going and to get us excited, not just for the end goal, but for the process. I will also add on to that, if you're trying to achieve a goal and you're using temptation bundling to get there, just try to remember why you're doing it in the first place. What is it about your life that you want to change or adjust or achieve? How would that impact your quality of life or your meaning in life or your purpose? No matter how old you are or what challenges you might be facing, which might be real challenges, I don't mean to minimize that, but no matter what situation you do find yourself in, there is a way to look toward the future and try to be pushing towards a goal or towards a bigger picture. And it's just about stepping back and looking at your life and seeing what that is for you and then figuring out the steps to get there and then using temptation bundling to help you along the way. And I also just wanna add, this can just be used for ordinary chores. Like maybe your goal is just to feel like a solid adult who gets what they need to get done, done, and who is kind of in a cycle of productivity. And I'm not even talking extreme productivity, maybe it's just normal human adult productivity. But I think that if we envision the life we wanna have and then figure out the steps to get there and then use this tactic to help increase momentum and motivation, it can really transform your life. I know it has hugely helped me in getting the things done that I wanna get done. Honestly, yeah, it's made that change for me. So let's see if we can do that for you too. Anyway, if you liked this video, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up button. Liking this video is a really effective way to help support the channel. So if you're willing to take a moment to do that, I would really appreciate it. And then also, if you're new here, hi, I'm Aylin, and I make videos on simple living, minimalism, and making life just a tad easier. So if you're interested in any of that, please subscribe below. That's also another way to support the channel. Thanks so much for spending this little bit of time with me and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.